Hello, everyone, and welcome to the fourth episode of my eBay score series. And in this episode, there are five things that came here. Uh, well, there's actually more stuff that came here, but I'm going to do separate like reviews on them. And as you can see, I there are three stuff that are not in this they're not for this eBay score video, but they are the car on the road, Rumbler Light McQueen, Color Changer, the two pack of Dax Jammin and Royce Rebsley. And one more thing is the Tyrania Tyranna Mysiosaurus Rex. Those are the three car on the road stuff that came. And I'm going to do separate reviews on those, and yeah. So, this episode is just going to be stuff from the Denis Pixar Cars 1 and Cars 2 movies. And this is the first episode where it has Cars 2 stuff. And as you can see, they're all quick changers, so... I'm going to explain for the Car 1 cars. As you know, this... The this packaging is the 2009 collection, and this one is saluting Sarge. And as you can see, he is a chase, and he's pretty rare. And there's a World Card Online game thing right here, similar how they did the similar thing for Daredevil Garage in 2015 and 2016, but for the World Car Online, it was only on the packaging for 2009. There's an artwork of Sarge with the, with the his saluting antenna. And play worldcars.com, create a car, race online, unlock cool stuff. Yeah, I do wish the game is still around, but... Oh, well. Hopefully, they'll make, like, a version for, like, Cars 2 or Cars 3. But, oh, well. And there's the diecast. And that's it for Saluting Sarge's packaging. And, oops. Here is the Tractor Retire in Mouth. And this is a brand new release. Released for 2022 this year. He's a new one. And here's his artwork and the diecast. The main difference is that he is eating a tire. And the background is inaccurate because it's a piss and cover his background. But they it should have been the Willie's Butte background, like how they did that for like Sally, Mater, Fillmore, Sarge, Luigi, Guido, Flo, Ramon, and many other Raider Springs townies. And Otis, like they added the Raider Springs background. So they could have done the same thing for Tractor, but with Tire and Mouth, but oh well. And one thing that's so inaccurate in the past that is shows that as seen in Cars 3. But it's actually a Cars 1. Now, if you remember in the movie, and the tractor stampede scene, you'll know that one of the tires is, one of the tractors, my bad, is actually eating a tire. And Luigi was like, here, take in the snow tires. Like, remember that scene? That scene was Cars 1. I don't know why would they mess that up badly and put a Cars 3 logo right here in Cars 3 Cars. Well, if it was that scene in Cars 1, if it was this incorrect, well, it, with the Cars 1 logo instead, the King and Marie Clutch Room would be correct only, because Jackson, George, Barry, Paul, and Jambalaya are only, cars, are only in Cars 3. Really makes no sense, and... If it was like a car street car, like imagine like it being like flipped over with a new expression and on the back, it, probably, it would be correct if it was all car street. Well, for Marie Clutchburn, it wouldn't be right because this is the car one version, not the car three version. But oh well, yeah, very bad mistake that they messed up the background and they uh, the back is so inaccurate. But oh well. It is what it is. And here are the quick changers. Now, these are released in 2011 slash 2012. And I have three of them. 
where the Raul Saru one came loose, and these are in the Quick Changers Race collection, but there's also a Spy series for the Lemons and the Secret Agents. Now, the Race series is shows in London background, whereas I believe in the oh, a Spy series, they show, some of them show, like, an Italy background, and yeah, this is the Light McQueen one with Crash Damage. Transforms right there, and there's a hole, and you right here. Like it says, try me, and here's how it works. And it's a pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And on the back, it should collect them all. And there's also major with wasabi tongue, vivid missile with karate wheels, which I don't have unfortunately. And the Lightning, McQu Lightning McQueen and that Jugiersley once I have, along with Raul Sarul. And as you can see, wheel damage, expression change, crash carver, instant race damage, push the reset, also transforms when you press the roof button, or the back window actually, but um, okay. And, yeah, I'm going to show you how these quick changers work. And I'm also definitely going to review those guys soon. Along with the license sounds. And, also, I do have a license sounds of Mater with guns and rockets. This is a license sound car. And, yeah, he doesn't have any batteries in him right now. And, I will do a review on him soon. Along with all the other license sound cars when I get them. And yeah, all right. Anyway, so here's the Nigel Gearsley one, and as you can see, same thing. Although the difference is that um right here, well, the back is the same for the, the, all the other cars right here. But um, he transforms with smashed hood and expression change, and. Yeah, it looks, it's a pretty cool idea for, like, the World Grand Prix races, since Raul crashed in Port of Course in the movie, and same with Nigel, and it'll make sense that they did, like, them crash damage. And here's the Nigel Gearsley one. As you can see, he has his, like, hood smashed up, and there's, like, a crack. It's also there in Raul, and... For the eyes, well, the eyes change for Nigel, but they don't for Raul. And for some reason, for Nigel, he, when he changes his expression right here, his eyes look weird. Like, there's this black stuff. I'm guessing there's probably smoke coming out of his engine from how he blew his engine. Like, it's just strange looking, but okay. Oh, yeah, and here's the Raul Cerule one, and... Yeah, by the way, they're all plastic, they're not die-cast, but they are 155 scale, and they do have paper stickers. And they all are pretty cool, and here's the Raul Cerul one on how it works. You push this, and his, if you look closely, his window, like, you see that it's blue, but when he's crashed up, it changes to blue black for some reason. Also, there's like cracks in the window, and this hood gets smashed up. And you can activate the change by pressing this, or by like crashing the car into like something heavy. Like, if he hits something like super duper heavy, like, well, I can't really show you an example, but like, like, if you do kind of like this on like a floor or in like a desk or a table, he will he, he will get damaged up, which I'm gonna try to show you that. Yeah, see when he hits like something hard, you see how he gets smashed up. I'm gonna show you again. So that's what he looks like right now without the smash up hood like that. And when he hits that... Yeah, it, it gets smashed up. Pretty cool that they did that. Like, they had to... Like, not only that they crack... That he gets changed when you press it like that. But he also hits this. And then he gets this, like, damage. 
pretty cool idea, and you can even recreate the scene of Porto Corsa where he crashed in Cars 2 with this Raul. You don't have to use the diecast if you want, but yeah, yeah, this is pretty cool. That's a pretty cool idea. Now I'm gonna cut the video until I get all these four opened up. Here they are out of the package, and I'm gonna do it in like movie order, so I'm gonna start the Cars 1 cars. Here's saluting Sarge, and as you can see, he he's very, the same as regular Sarge, but there are three differences. One is the expression. If you look, he's not that much determined on this one, but uh, compared to the regular one, and yeah, as you can see, the second main part of the difference is that he has an antenna and. He's saluting, and the third difference is that he just lifted up, just like how he was like that in the movie, and that's all the differences. Like the back is still having that spare tire problem, and another difference I see here, it, like if you look right here, there's like a big gap through this part and the back part. This part in the bottom is metal, but this top part is plastic but the newer sarges is a one solid piece and it's all metal yeah that's metal but on the top it's plastic for saluting sarge so yeah that's pretty much it for saluting sarge a pretty cool die cast and i have all the sarge die cast from cars one i still don't have the um, Sarge from the Raiders Friends Fire and a Half series, or just the Stanley Days one. And here's the tractor with tire and mouth. He's the same as the regular tractor, but the main difference is the the only difference that, um, that many people will know is the he's eating a tire. And the color looks a little different. Well, that's because this one's China and that one's Thailand. And the smokestack right here is different. The rims look to be a little bit different. The spots look different. And yeah, that's it for tractor with tire and mouth. Now I'm going to show you the quick changers from Cars 2. I'm going to first start with McQueen. As you can see, they are the similar thing as the 155 scale diecast. And, but they're paper stickers and they're plastic. And they look pretty cool, and I really like the like determined expression they did for McQueen. And here's the bottom if you're interested. No idea what's up with those parts right here because it definitely did not look like that on the diecast. I guess you can see they're much smaller, but these are way bigger for some reason. And here's how it he work it works when you push the back window. Yeah, his expression changes and his, like, tires, like, pop or something. It looks like he has a flat, t flat tires in the front. And then you can push the back window again to change it back. You do like this, and then this. So that's it for McQueen. Now on to Raul Cerule. As you can see, he has... I already showed you how it in the demonstration how it works. So you push the back window like that, or I don't think that's the back window, but still, you push that, and his like window get dam his windows get his this window gets damaged, but the other side doesn't. And as you can see, his hood cracks, and when you close that. And boom, he is normal. But when he, you, I already showed you when he crashed into something. Yeah, he gets damaged up. And uh, here's a similar thing for Nigel. Yeah, see, he gets damaged. Just like in the movie. And yeah, all right. So here's Nigel Gearsley, and I really like the expression. Like he, he, right here, he looks determined. Right here with that mouth, and. Yeah, there's so he doesn't he doesn't have the crack windows by the way. Raul does. 
and his eyes do not change. But for Nigel, it does like that. And as you can see, the hood gets damaged, and yeah, he looks horrified from what happened. And yeah, there's black stuff on his face, which I'm guessing is smoke coming out of his engine from how he blew up, like in the movie. Could be that, and yeah. So this is how Nigel Gearsley works. And yeah, and also fun fact, for the quick changers, they only made Lightning, Raul, and Nigel, and Francesco for the World Grand Prix racers. I don't have the Francesco one, and yes, I did order the Francesco one, but he's not yet here. So, yeah, I won't review those guys yet until I, until the Francesco one comes, but oh well. I will do reviews on these two for Car 1, and yeah, here's the poster that the Collector's Guide thing that came with the Saluting Sarge, and yeah. Alright, and stay tuned for the review of this Rumbler McQueen, Max Jammin and Royce Revsley, and the Tyranna Rex, Mysterious Rex. But anyways, that's all for this video, anyways guys, bye now.